cooled things down though considerably. Here's a breaking ball that is laced into right field for a base hit. Roundings third and headed plate where it is going to be on then. And stopping at first will be Doug Elliott. That's his first hit in this regional. And it's an RBI single and it gives UConn a one nothing lead. 2-0 pitch, Dew Miller on its way. Swung on, down at the middle and it's in a field base hit. Henson will hit the bag at third. He's at it, plate where will score and we are tied at one. Pitch from Surratt. On its way with the runner moving, a strikeout, throw down, got him! Strike him out, throw him out! Inning over. 2-1 pitch. And a base hit into right field. They're going to wave Epps around. Throw coming to the plate, and it's up the third baseline. Chris scores standing up, it's 4-1. Doug Elliott. Runner goes, pitches swung on and hit back into deep left field. Schaus turns and watches that one land halfway up the Chapman Grandstand's home run. And all of a sudden, it's a one-run game. The 1-1 pitch. Lined into left field. Schaus coming on, not going to get it. Drops for a hit. That's going to score two runs, and UConn has taken a 6-4 lead. And into the outfield, the 2-1 pitch. Swung on, line drive, left field, base hit. That's going to score one. It's going to score two. We've got a tie ball game. 6-6 six, six in the ninth. Spencer Keeboom with a big two-out knock. And the 2-2 pitch, and it's a ground ball, base hit into left field. Charging his shouse, runner rounding third, throw coming to the plate is not in time, and UConn wins it in the bottom of the ninth inning, 7-6, on a base hit by Ryan Fuller, and the Huskies celebrating out behind the mound.